back at it again this morning, uh, just focusing on putting the remaining brackets up on all of the intersections between the posts and the beams. Got the front done and just need to work here on the back. Um, and then after that, might work on the bracing a little bit. And then uh, I wanna get these corners in that support the big, the long span here. Um, so that's on the agenda. If I can get those done today, then I will be in good shape uh, for working on the roof rafters and uh, squaring that up up there. Um, I haven't cut the beams to link up there, but I, I wanna make sure everything's square uh, for the roofing. roofing so, uh, But got plenty of work to do on the, on the ground before I start getting up there. Nothing too special on hanging these brackets. Uh, it's a Simpson strong tie, and then I'm using these uh, three and a half uh, structural wood screws. Um, that's kind of what they look like there. They're they're beefy, beefy one. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Seems strong enough. Basically, I'm centering it on the both beam and post. Level for aesthetics. Uh, I do have a little gap down here. Uh, between the post and the beam, uh, that was a good quarter of an inch, and that's just not all the posts and beams were exactly seven and a half inches. Some were a little under, some were a little uh, over. Did a right uh, triangle calculator, and I'm going to do 52 inches by 52 inches, uh, so a perfect 45 um, for the cross pieces. So it needs to be 73.5. Is my measurement there? I'm going to use this jig again to uh, make those 45s. So now. I change this until it hits 45. Tighten that up. And we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm going to try this one here. Usually the long part of the jig is in the back. Um, so you can kind of go further on down there. It, it worked out on the far side, but not on this side. So I'm gonna have to kind of bring it vertical. Um, and then of course my saw horses aren't um, long enough. So I put in some blocking here. Definitely a little awkward with your hand. All right, seems like it worked. Not a terrible cut for a chainsaw. Uh, that'll do. I'm prepping this brace here. Uh, I'm going to use five connectors and Gonna make sure that all the threads are into the next piece. So I got some six inch. Um, that takes a three eighths inch head. And then I have 
some of these left over that take a different size head and then this one takes a star. So when I'm up there, it'll have to change out bits three times to get through one side. <laughs> but that's what I'm figuring as far as uh, strength goes uh, is five of those. I drilled them and kind of pre, and not all the way through, but uh, got them going at a straight line to the post. Back at it again this morning. I'm putting in the brace, the big braces on the long span. Started working on that last night and I uh, ran into a little problem um, with one of them. So the front looks pretty good there. Nice and tight. Looks decent up there. It is touching that two and a quarter inch material, but I wanted a twist. I had a gap on the back side. I want to close that gap and it would twist it and I thought it would be fine. Um, made a couple of errors there. I should have drunk, uh, drilled a better pilot hole uh, because those fasteners were um, digging into the, the brace um, and before it actually got to the beam to suck it up. And then I had the small ends on there um, where I should have had these flat ends that provide um, a good bite on that wood in order for it to, to have the pressure to suck that beam or that brace up in this spot. So that piece is on stand still. Um, I've buried those screws or lag bolts or whatever you want to call those things, fasteners, so deep that you can't even hardly get to them anymore. Um, so I'm not sure what to do with that, but I might as well plug forward and see if I can get this one up into its spot. Well, that brace went up uh, quite a bit easier than the other one. I wouldn't say that it was easy. So that brace goes out 52 inches from the post. So that on each side will give me 104 inches to help with that span. Um, everyone that's looked at it agrees that that span looks quite long for that size of beam. So even though it looked pretty good on the ground, maybe I should have cut a bigger tree. Um, but I think I have a plan. So John, the, my dad's friend that was out helping 
set the posts and beams the other day as he's leaving, contemplating the long beam, and he said, why don't you cable it? Why don't you put a cable on it? And then he drew it out and uh, made pretty good sense. And he, and he, my dad remembers older structures having that cable system in it. What we're talking about is putting a cable at each end of the, the beam next to the post. Then we'll put a piece down in the center um, for that cable, this is all underneath the beam. Um, and so then when you tighten that cable up, it'll put pressure in the center of the beam and support it. So, uh, I don't know, I think it, that's on the docket at some point here uh, to get that, get that supported. So, we've been working on this other brace here. Um, the post isn't quite square to what we got going on. So we're gonna recut this joint here to, to take out this quarter of an inch so it uh, fits tight on uh, the upper and lower end. So that's the plan. Uh, took a little bit of effort, but we ended up having to dig out those three structural screws that I had put in there and buried. So anyway, we're making progress. I had a good day getting those braces up, uh, a little difficult uh, by myself, uh, but definitely uh, the second one that I had in there that needed to be cut, I uh, really appreciate Tim helping me out with that. So uh, still not real convinced that that beam is supported as much as it needs to and so still uh, working on maybe doing a, a cable support on that. So uh, On today's agenda I need to cut the beams to length and kind of get an overall length on the, what the shed's going to be and put some rafters up and then I'm going to square the roof to those rafters to make sure that when we put the metal on that everything's square and it comes out uh, correctly to the length that we want. So uh, kind of some measurements and squares. I'm out here by myself this morning but um, I should be able to accomplish what I need. So uh, a little slower going but um, it's better to be out working than, than not. So I got all the rafters out. They were all icy last time I uh, had them. Uh, they got a little frost on them this morning, but um, they're dried out nicely. I have a couple extra and I definitely see a couple that I'm gonna um, discard. Uh, this one is one that needs to be thrown out. And then I see this one is cracked pretty good. The second one in on top. So those are two coals out of the, the group. And if uh, I need to make more, I will, but uh, let's get to it. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is
All right, been doing measurements and squaring. So I've got it down to one measurements 40 and 40 foot one and one eighth. And the other one is 40 and two inches. So I'm seven eighths off. So I'm gonna move one side down a half inch and do it to measurement and then remeasure and see how close I am. Uh, if it's within a quarter of an inch, I think I'm going to be happy with that. Okay, so move that down half inch. Uh, then my next measurement was 41 and a half, and then the next measurement was 41 and 5 eighths. So I'm only eighth of an inch off off of that span. I'm happy with that. The other math I was doing is my roofing is going to be 16 inch panels. I'm going to do the the hidden fastener uh, roofing and so I wanted in increments of 16 so my overall 164 I'm going to do a fascia board minus three inches half one and a half on each side for 461 so then my length of the beam is 38 uh, foot five inches so it may not seem too organized but I did put quite a bit into that so I think it's right uh, and so now that I've got it squared up I have some nails on those corners up there I'm gonna make some rafters to go on each end and then I'm gonna try to square it again just to make ultra sure that 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 everything looks good uh, thanks for watching and the next thing I'll be working on is to put rafters up so looking forward to getting that going uh, remember to hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.